Oh, Jamie, there is nothing but fun happening here at Fan Fest. The crowds have started to thin out a little bit since we've started to see some of that rain, but so much to do here. There are games, there's live music, and there was even a Rob Gronkowski sighting earlier today. Unfortunately, we missed him, but several people were able to meet him and say hello. Now, again, seeing and speaking with so many people here today who say this is a weekend that you cannot miss in Boston whether you're running or know someone who's running. Here at Fan Fest, there is a little something for everyone, a beer garden, live music, carnival games, face painting, balloon animals, and of course, a dance floor. And a lot of people are out there breaking a move. Now, there is a tent, a uh, bunch of tents here too, some making signs for tomorrow. Another tent is offering bells and encouraging that everybody meet at the Sitco sign just one mile from the finish line tomorrow. And they want you to make some noise for the runner on that final mile. Several photo ops and booths around here, as well as a booth to track messages for the runners for them tomorrow. The city is just covered in blue and yellow, and the people here are ready for race day. I'm excited, I'm nervous, I'm ready to go. I wanna go right now. Why Boston for your first marathon? Because it's the world's oldest marathon is the most important, and I feel that the connection that people have with the runners here is amazing. And the best news is Fan Fest is going on until 8 o'clock tonight. So much fun to be had, so that's where I'm going to head, and we'll send things back to you, Jamie.